I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. As soon as you hit something, your banana um, just goes limp. Um, whoa, what is going on here? Holy cow. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today we're going to be playing a $40 game called Banana Town. Roll intro. Okay, so what's the deal with Banana Town? Banana Town just came out on Steam like in the last 24, 36 hours. I was looking through the new Steam games and as I typically do, I look for games that are kind of that, that middle ground as far as price goes, that sort of 12 to like $25. And those games typically are either really good hidden gems or really bad cash grabs. And sometimes those bad cash grabs can look like good games, so I like to warn people. And sometimes those hidden gems are too expensive for people to jump on, so they hold off waiting for that review that says it's a good game. And I like to try to provide that review if I'm able to. So when I noticed $40 and I glanced to the left really quick just to see what you know AAA title it was that had just come out that I had missed, I saw that the name of the game was Banana Town, and my curiosity was piqued. So I looked, so far there was no reviews, there were some comments in the comment section saying, are you freaking kidding me? It's $40, this is just like Jim Sterling fodder, this is not a real game, this is a joke. Well, I looked at the dev, and I actually, when you click on his website on Steam, so it's, you know, I didn't do any digging or anything, I mean, it's just you click on his website on the Steam page, it takes you to like his Amazon profile page or something like that, and there's just reviews, and I was like, okay, I'm going to read these because these have, they're going to be troll reviews, like this has got to be just fake, but no, he's like a legit guy, like he just... You know, he liked a couple of bookends, and he liked like a mat, like a like a rug. It was weird, but he had some stuff in there too about making games for Android and making games and blah blah blah. And he seemed to be serious. He seemed to be actually serious. It didn't seem like a troll attempt. So then I thought, well, maybe this game is kind of like one of those where it looks terrible, but then you play it, and there's like this hidden gem like buried in there and it, I don't know I just thought for forty dollars like nobody does these kinds of games for forty dollars you know if they're gonna do one of those crappy cash grab unity games then it's like twelve bucks and that's way way too much but you know they'll, they'll do like twelve dollars so that people will bite forty dollars though so I thought you know what what the heck I'm gonna give this a shot we're gonna check this game out if it's terrible eh, I'll refund it if it's amazing maybe this guy is just the worst marketing advertiser you know on the face of the planet maybe he just has no ability to make like a good promo video blah 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 whatever so here we go way too long of an intro there for banana town so let's go we're gonna create the game here it says uh, the original level is always the best bounce around banana town like you have nothing better to do name of game and passcode are optional each player can I only hold each game can only hold eight players so sorry guys if you were planning on getting 12 people together to uh get your bananas and let's just start okay so here we go sure enough true true to the title of the game i am a banana this doesn't look like too much of a town i can jump there's a pad here. There's a weird jump mechanic. If you just tap jump, you do this little hop. If you hold it in, your character like almost starts to like levitate and then just stops and then just starts dropping again. So it's kind of a weird jump mechanic. My banana's got his tongue sticking out and is blinking. He looks like he's just stoned out of his mind. Let's see, there's, okay, okay, here we go. Costumes, uh, there's just one. Settings, you've got depth of field, bloom, and 3D cross eye. Okay, how to play. Controls, I'm playing with a controller, so I can vouch for the fact that it has controller support. WASD is to move the banana. E to turn ragdoll on and off. F to interact with objects. Mouse button actions. Okay, um, well maybe I shouldn't be playing with the controller. Let's, let's, let's see here. So F to interact with objects. And E to turn ragdoll on and off. And uh, mouse buttons for actions. Okay, let's, let's see here. Well, the mouse buttons aren't doing anything, and F 
isn't doing anything. Oh, it controls so badly with a mouse and keyboard. I killed my banana. He's dead. Okay, I'm trying to stand back up so I can jump. Oh, it controls really bad. I'm gonna switch back to the, uh, I'm gonna switch back to the controller here. That's better. Okay, so I went limp on the, the bounce pad there and that did something. And now I'm playing with this, with this ball. It's gone. Oh, it's back again. Okay. So you can play the world's most boring game of soccer if you want to. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. Okay, so there's a ring here. Let's try to get into the ring. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm trying. It's... I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. As soon as you hit something, your banana um, just goes limp. Um, whoa, what is going on here? Holy cow. Um, yep, okay, so we're done with that. Uh, okay, I, this game is really giving me some trouble here with just basic controls. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to get in the ring here. So if you were playing with it... The problem is, is that if you hit anything whatsoever at all... Okay, I got out of the ring. <laughs> then your character just faints away. So over here we've got a um, sort of a playground. And I use that term loosely. Because there's not a whole lot you could do with it, really. I mean, you can jump against something. And then you can fall down. But that's it. Like, I mean, that's all you can do. I mean, your options are super, super limited. There we go. Can I get in here? I made it inside. To what purpose? I don't think there's any. But he... If I touch this, I'll fall over. Of course, this is making a liar out of me. Nope, there it goes. Fell over. But you can jump from the top of that thing up there, and you can stick a landing. Okay. Can we climb up these? Not really. You can jump. Nope. Can't really get up those. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, well, I've seen... I think enough of this playground area. It's sort of just an exercise in frustration. Oh yeah, because you're like stuck now. Because every time you stand up, your character just smacks into another another object and just falls over. So let's see what else is... I mean, there's got to be more. It says Banana Town. This is so... Really? Really? I mean, this isn't really a town. This is sort of like a construction site. What else we got? We got a clock. Let's see if I can stick this. There we go. Wow, it really glitches out hard there. Oh, 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 oh. I totally not gonna land this at all. It's weird how the banana controls too. Um, are you gonna make it there, buddy? No, no, you're not, are you? Okay. Well, so. What just happened? The camera became completely detached from the from the banana. That's I think this is it, guys. Uh yeah, no, it's it's just it's a, it's a rip off. It's a joke. Uh there's nothing to it. There's no like hidden you know surprise. It's actually a really good game, you know, just terrible little marketing. No, it's it's really bad. There's water, okay. There's no town. It should just be called Banana Place. Place. Banana Place. That's That would be an appropriate name for this game. Banana Place. Um, 
I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what this person was thinking. I really seriously, like, if you read the stuff that they wrote, they seem to be, like, a legit person. He talks about having, like, a family and working and things that a normal human being would talk about. I'm wondering if this is a lot like uh, Octodad, where this person is actually a banana in real life, and that this is, like, he was making, like, an autobiographical game about himself. I don't know. That would make more sense than this game. Wow. That's just so bizarre. Oh, not gonna land it. Um, yeah, I have no desire to play this anymore. I don't find this game appealing at all. I think that he's just trying to take our money and split, and thinks that we're a bunch of idiots. Three banana puns in a row. I do this for you guys. So, yep, I'm going to... I'm going to refund this, and I don't recommend you buying it. To the developer of this game, if you're serious about this, if this is like, no, I was actually working really hard on it, and I had a desire for this to be like the next goat simulator or whatever else, um, it needs a lot more work. I know you said, like, I think it was the second update for the game, like, oh, it was my birthday, and I thought it'd be a neat, a neat birthday present to... Uh, get this game out there in early access and blah 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 I would hold off for a couple more birthdays before releasing this I'd pull it off Steam if you can and um, I'd wait for like at least two more years of putting a lot more stuff Goat Simulator made it because there was so much to do in the world the music there's no sound by the way guys um, there's none I have it turned up there's zero sound <clears throat> so Goat Simulator made it because there's a lot to do and the world was interesting and it was funny and it was glitchy in all the right ways I don't think that they did that game by accident, you know, that that took some thought and effort and energy and uh, yeah, this game doesn't at all. Like, look at that, like just look at it. So please pull this off Steam. And if it's a joke game, if you're like, oh no, this is going to be like the best joke game. No, not at $40. The only person who has enough money and is dumb enough to buy stuff like this at $40 is maybe like rice gum. Uh, but aside from that, nobody's going to buy this. Nobody's going to send it as a gag gift. If it was like 25 cents, even 80 cents, people might send this to other people as like one of those gag gifts. Like, ah, I got your banana place. Because you need to change the name too. It's not a town. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have nothing else to say about this. Guys, I'm super sorry for wasting you, my viewers, time. I thought that there was... There had to be something here, some spark, some something. But apparently my faith in humanity is still a bit too much intact and I'm just still too gullible because I was wrong, very wrong. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in and sorry about this. And if you guys want to see me play more of this, no. And if you want me to play something else or you have another recommendation, by all means, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to try to take a look at it and get to it if I can. Um, other than that, you guys have a great day. I'm totally mesmerized right now by what I'm seeing on the screen. You guys have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Game on!